Hey guys, it's Matt from SFA and today I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how to take the front triangle post iron sight off of your M4 or M16 variant airsoft gun. Uh, and for this tutorial all you'll need is a hammer or something like it which can tap out pins. Um, everyone has a hammer so it's probably the uh, way to go but if whatever you want to use um, that's got a bit of weight to it and can uh, get pins out pretty easy as I said. Uh, you're going to need something like this, quite thin. Um, thin enough to go through little gaps which I'll get into in a minute to uh, tap the pins out so obviously the hammer will be hitting this so I guess I'm quite thin and you'll also need an allen key set as well most thinnest one which I'll get into in a minute um, anyway so basically what you're going to want to do is um, as my rifle didn't, uh, my triangle sight has already been taken off, which I've done already, it hasn't really played ball and I could try to put it back in to demonstrate but it didn't work so I'm going to kind of go through the step by steps um, in a different kind of way, um, trying to show you as well as I can. But um, anyway, so you take whatever, you know, whatever at the front off, this is where you're going to need the smallest allen key to take off the flash hider. Now the, f the, uh, the allen key that you will need to be using, 1.5 sorry, 1.5, right at the end. Which is here, 1.5. That is the one you're going to be wanting to using for the uh, taking off the flash hider at the here. So anyway, to get the flash hider off, all you need to do basically just find a little. And it's out, and that's where it comes out. There. So yeah, leave that to one side. You won't be needing that, so you know you can leave it in there and just leave it to one side. So then you then what you do is just turn this. And eventually it will just come out like so. Then you're left with just this here. Okay, so the next part you're going to want to do is that there's a hole here and there's a hole here. Um, inside there, at the moment they're empty because I've taken them out already, but you'll find a pin. The, these pins here will be the ones you'll be finding inside of them. Here, I just dropped it. And they will basically be inside of these holes here. So what you're going to want to do is basically let just get your little tool, your little tool, put it inside the hole and give it a few taps of the hammer. And it may take a bit of brute force but you will eventually get this out and it will pop out on the other side down below. So as I said before, they will, these two little, little pins will be here and will be here. Anyway. Like so, they will be in those two holes there, but obviously, and then you just bang them out, and they will pop out on the other side, um, and then you just pull them out like so, and then we'll get to the next step now. Okay, so you have your sling mount here. Your sling mount will be attached by this little screw inside here. This little screw will be this little thing, and that little thing will be inside here. Now this is probably one of the biggest pains to get in and out. But that will go in, will be in there like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to tap, tap, tap with the uh, hammer and that. And this like little screw screwdriver thing. You can use, you can use a screwdriver for this, like a hex screwdriver, um, to bang them out with with the hammer. But something like this would be better, which goes through, which fits through the holes and goes directly through. But uh, yeah, tap it out and it will fall out um, on the uh, floor. And then you want to keep hold of all these little screws and put them into it, put them to one side so they don't get lost. Just in case you want to put it on or sell it. And then all you do is just pull this sling mount off, and and then you've done the next. You've done that step. The next step is pretty simple. You do not pull. The triangle sight off yet. Oh, I'm gonna scratch on here. Do not pull the triangle sight off yet. You turn the gun upside down pretty much, and what you'll see is this screw in there. That screw is literally where the sling mount would have gone. The sling mount fits in there, like so. But underneath, where you take the sling mount off, there will be a little screw. And with the smallest 1.5 millimeter Allen key, all you do stick it in. Get a quick turn, if it'll work. There you go. And then you have it out, put it to one side with the other little thing from the flash hider. And then we'll get to the next step now. And the, f the final step is pretty simple. Pull it off, like so, trying as little scratch as possible. 
and you have your triangle front sight off. Now this is really really good if you do are thinking about putting uh, sights on your gun. Um, for example here I can show you. Um, now it's off I can put um, a new iron sight on uh, like so here. that and I've got a HK iron sight on there like so and you can use it for optics and whatnot um, which will now work better because you haven't got the triangle sight on it so yeah guys that has been the how to take the triangle post sight off of the M4 if you have any questions further information needed and you want to get in contact with us then please either inbox me or comment in the comment section please comment rate and subscribe to the Southern Force Airsoft channel this has been Matt, Matt L from SFA thank you very much for watching and goodbye